Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining me for the second part of the video safety lecture series. We're going to talk about safety colors and shop signs. Every job you go on anywhere in the country, you're going to see the safety information signs posted everywhere that tell you about specific dangers and levels of danger that you might face if you enter a particular area. The color of that sign depends on the level of danger that you could possibly face while entering that area. So what we're going to do in this section is we're going to go over what each of these colors mean. That way when you do actually get out onto a job, you can better understand what, what you're getting into. These signs, they follow codes. These codes are going to be written OSHA 29, CFR 1910, and then you have the ANSI ASME A13.1, and then just the ANSI Z535.1. That's the codes or the standards that dictate what colors go to what level of sign. There's going to be nine different classifications of signs, nine different colors that we could be looking for when we're uh, trying to figure these out. And the first one is going to be the informative sign. This sign is going to be white. It's going to have a black contrast. This is not really going to depict a, a certain area. It's not going to show you any hazards. It's usually just for references pertaining to certain areas, points of interest, and information about that particular area is usually why that's why it's called an informative sign the next sign we're going to talk about is going to be royal blue a solid royal blue with no contrasting colors behind it this is a non-hazard sign it's going to show particular points that you might want to be at but not necessarily anything hazardous there's going to be no hazards in whatever area it's talking about this could be a lobby a conference room, a restroom, things like that. We got red with white contrasting colors behind it. This is going to be fire prevention. This is going to show us where fire prevention equipment is, like fire extinguishers, or it could even show us fire exits, fire pathways written on the floor, emergency exits stuff like that could even show us one of them like big fire axes that's behind the glass pane it, I ain't never actually seen one of them except for in the movies but it's in the movies it's gotta it's gotta be true right these green signs here I like these are our safety reminder signs these signs are going to give us instructions uh, kind of remind us of what it is that we need to uh be doing so we got safety related instructions safety procedures and locations of safety equipment now this one right here is a biggie because this is going to tell you where eye wash stations are if you get something in your eye from flying debris or maybe a safety shower for uh, if you had a chemical spill on you it could also show you where the first aid kit would be it would mark where the first aid kit's at, rather. Then we got the navy blue, the dark blue with the white contrast behind it. These are property regulations, mandatory equipment. And then it says personal obligation, technical safety instructions. Basically, these are rules. This is my rule signs. Most of the time, this is telling you what the company or whoever posted this sign wants you to do or what you, they don't want you to do what you're not allowed to do on the property or the perimeter of this whatever this sign marks next we've got biohazard this is going to be red orange like a fluorescent red orange usually and this is specifically for biological hazards and that's it nothing else so this is pretty cut and dry biohazards are they're kind of in a spot of their own because they can be hazardous, but if they're in the proper receptacle or disposed of in proper fashion, then they're not hazardous at all. So they kind of get their own classification. And a fun fact, ANSI's color for 
biohazards is purple. We just don't see that very often, so I didn't really put that on here. Next, we've got the yellow with the black contrast behind it. These are going to be potential, potentially hazard situations, and also it could result in a minor or moderate injury, but this is going to be one of two specific signs that also talks about physical injury. So keep that in mind. This is the first of two. Then we have warning. This is orange with a white contrast behind it. This is going to be potentially hazardous threats or present. Uh, warning to, to avoid the present hazard. And if avoided, the hazard is not a threat really at all. And what these signs are talking about is it's letting you know that there is a hazard, definitely a hazard in that area. But if you leave it alone, you're fine. That's pretty, pretty cut and dry. It's like high voltage on the other side of this fence. If you don't climb the fence, you ain't going to get shocked. That's, that's pretty much what warning signs are telling you is just beware of what's in the area. And then we've got danger signs. This is the this is the one right here, guys. It's red with a black contrast color behind it. These signs are going to talk about an immediate danger upon entering the area or an imminent threat. So the threat is definitely there. It can definitely get you. If, if you do not avoid this area, you could be looking at a serious injury and possibly even a fatality if if you don't know what you're looking for. That was pretty quick, and that's going to wrap it up for the colors and the safety signs. So we will catch you on the next one.